This quest is about, well, it's answering this question right in front of you. Is air matter? Now, we've talked about what makes up matter. Hopefully you uh, have some information about that already. But let's go ahead and take a look. So, uh, tell me, what is this girl doing right now? Yeah, she's just blowing bubbles, right? Well, what is inside of the bubbles? Well, hopefully you said air. So at least uh, in this picture, it appears that air is, you can kind of see it. Um, it moves around, it wiggles the bubbles. Uh, the bubbles are just soapy water. And the cohesion of water with the soap molecules are helping hold it together. Uh, but inside each one of those bubbles is air. All right, so that, that might give us an idea about air maybe having volume because it's taking up some space and you can see it in there. All right, so tell me what's going on in this picture. Yeah, it's a hot air balloon. So we've got a hot air balloon. What's inside the hot air balloon? Well, I hope you said hot air because it's kind of in the title of the of what it is. But what is the balloon for? Like, what's it doing? So a balloon is just holding all that air in there, right? The air is trying to escape. And some people may have said that hot air or air that's warmer is lighter than regular air. And therefore, it wants to go up. Uh, warm air rises, as you probably know in your house in the summertime. If you have a two-story house, the hot air upstairs is going to be uh, uh, hotter up there. So you need air conditioning or open your windows when you go to bed at night because it's probably warmer. So the hot air here is being contained. So once again, this is kind of showing us that air takes up space. Air has volume uh, because without it taking up space, that hot air balloon would never get off the ground. All right, well, let's take a look at the next picture. Now, again, this one's probably pretty obvious what is happening. Like, what's it's a picture of a boy with a kite, right? And the kite is off the ground. But have you ever actually thought about why or how a kite stays in the air? So think about that for a second. What, how do you get a kite up in the air in the first place? Well, uh, some of you may have said that he, he's running, right? He has to run. So you have to start by, by running with the kite to get it off the ground. But what keeps it up in the air? Like, can you, any, any day of the week, any day of the year, would you be able to fly a kite? No, probably not. What do you have to have to make a kite stay in the air? Hopefully you said wind. So think about this for a second. What is wind? What, what is well, yeah, what's wind? Well, wind is just air, right? Air that moves. And can you feel the wind? Of course you can. Can you, have you, has your wind ever blown your hair around? Has it ever blown a, a jacket or uh, holding an umbrella? Has it ever blown an umbrella out of your hand? Or have you ever flown a kite? Because the air is moving over the top and underneath the kite. And that's why a kite needs to be a certain shape so that the air can get caught in it like a sail on a sailboat. So this shows that wind, if wind can push you around, you know, on a windy day outside on the playground, if it can push you around, doesn't that mean that it has some sort of mass? Because if, if it didn't have mass, if it didn't have some sort of weight to it, it wouldn't be able to push you around. So air must have some kind of mass. And when it's blowing really hard, that mass is smacking into you super, super hard. And that moves it around. So that's why that uh, kite is able to stay in the air. Right here, normally I would have a video link. And you guys will see that video link. It's, it's going to be in the quest underneath uh, the video link, or this link here. So just watch the, watch the video. Go ahead and pause this. And then watch this video. It's a, of a guy that is, uh, I guess you'd call it skydiving, but he's doing it over a mountain. And you'll see something really cool happen when he opens up his arms and legs uh, on his suit. So it's pretty neat. And again, it's that idea of kite uh, and the air has some sort of mass. Well, welcome back. So we talked about this already. Matter 
is anything that has mass and, and volume or takes up space. So we just talked about air being in a bubble, in a balloon. That means it's taking up space, right? It has volume. Well, we also talked about it being over a kite, uh, pushing a kite around, and we, you saw the guy flying down the mountain um, and right above the ground. It was kind of amazing. And the air, again, must be pushing him up as, as he flies downward. So that must mean that air has mass. So if air has mass and volume, I guess air is matter. So air is matter. And it, it, watch some of the other videos that we have for you here uh, because it, it helps prove that idea once again that air really is matter and that it really does uh, take up space and it really has mass. So pretty neat. On the other hand then, what is not matter? What stuff is not matter? And hopefully going off of our very beginning here, um, well, when I say the words, what's the matter? You should always say, Everything except energy, because energy is not matter. Everything else that you see, touch, taste, feel uh, is really matter because it has shape, it has volume, it has mass. Even some things you can't see are still matter. But energy, like light, fire, heat, okay, those things uh, are not matter because they are made of pure energy. All right, well, good luck, and go ahead and watch the other videos in this quest. Made with DoodleCast Pro.